Southeast. Charlotte famously hosted the region's biggest Martin Luther King Day parade for years, but it came to a halt when the pandemic hit. Fortunately, it's making a comeback. On this morning, Saturdays with the city, Deputy Community Relations Director Terry Bradley is here to tell us all about it. Thank you so much for being here this morning. Thank you for having me. So this is exciting. You know, I know you guys had to put a pause to it during the pandemic. What does it mean to be able to bring it back this year? Oh, it's a lot of excitement towards it. The community has actually been asking when are we going to have it. Um, last year we had a march and this year we said we were promised you we're going to have the parade this year. Wonderful. Yeah. And so what can people expect with this? Any anything new this year? No, I think uh, we've sent out the information to um, the information to the people that we've participated in the past and we expect them back. We have some new people that are coming back. Um, so that's going to be some new energy towards that. But it's going to be a day of excitement. And typically we have like maybe over three or four thousand people that attend that parade. Wow, that's a lot. And why do you think this is such an important tradition for the city of Charlotte? Well, for us, it's about education outreach, making sure that the um, youth have a connection to Dr. King and what he stood for. And this is just a way of kind of keeping that connection and them being able to, to um, stay connected to it. Great. And so how can people plan for this? Is this something that people need to register for? Right. Right now we have a website and that website will be on the screen. There are a QR code that will be on the screen, but they go on the screen. They will register. They have until December the 8th to do so. Um, get their units in um, in the registration line, and typically we're about have about a hundred units that are going to be um, in this parade. So, and so that's for people who want to be a part of the parade, right? That's correct. Okay, so if you want to be marching and you want to actually apply to take to take part in it, um, you said three to four thousand people in the past have signed have uh, shown up for this parade. That's correct. That's uh, that's just for the spectators alone, you know. Wow. So, um, and then because WTV had been partnered, the, the viewership has kind of expanded. So we expect a lot of people to participate. So that's wonderful. And then tell me about the two awards that are also related to this holiday. Right now, the Charlotte Mecklenburg Community Relations has a the Dr. King Medallion Award and also the Keeper of the Dream Award. The uh, Dr. King Medallion Award is the highest award that we can bestow upon someone in the Charlotte Mecklenburg area. And it's one of those awards that is bestowed upon somebody who's kind of kept Dr. King's um, legacy alive by doing work in the community. Um, and we just try to make sure we recognize those persons that, that, that are doing so. That's wonderful. And so have those already been determined or is that something that people can nominate people for? No, on that same site, there is a registration um, site um, that you can go on to and they have on these nomination forms. Once those nominations come in, there's a panel that will actually review those um, those um, list that comes in and um, that will make a decision. Typically, we'll try to get that information in by December 15th. Wonderful. So on top of the parade, I mean, I know community relations, kind of a broad topic. What all do you guys have going on here in the city? Uh, right now we have a lot going on. It's uh, Charlotte Mecklenburg Community Relations is a uh, office that actually bridges the community um, with also with um, with um, municipality. Uh, this is making sure that there's a lot of information that's being offered to give accurate information to the community as well to our partners um, to make sure that we bridge that uh, area of communication, uh, that there's transparency and there's really accurate information that's going out so we can help solve problems and not create them. Wonderful. And we have the information for your next meeting there. So that's something that, you know, any community members can attend? Yeah. Any Anytime um, we have our um, Tuesday morning breakfast forums, people can attend that. And then our, our community relations committee meetings, they meet every month as well. And that's a public me meeting as well. Wonderful. So I imagine that's a great opportunity to learn what's going on in the city and ask some questions if you have them. Uh, right now, you would have an opportunity just to find out what's immediately the what's, um, kind of one of those things that's kind of really actively being engaged in right now in the city. And you can get more details as you participate or just log.